Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have the big daddy of subscription boxes or I guess it's a women's lifestyle box so maybe it's the big mama of subscription boxes that I open here on the channel. It is of course FabFitFun which do you guys remember back in the day when they used to have guest artists design the box and even the box design was kind of part of the big reveal and it was really exciting to see sort of what the vibe of the box was going to be. Those days are long gone. Um, there's not a lot of boxes that really put a lot into the design of their boxes anymore which is totally fine because I usually just recycle them anyway so now they do these two-tone ones that are always very seasonal feeling so what does this one say spring flings and very nice things but you know what I was just noticing right before I started this video was this little circle of text right here so you might not be able to read it but I thought it was kind of funny oh it's along the front too or along the back edge too at the bottom so what it says is FabFitFun is a nice place where nice people get nice things at nice prices. And I mean, that is all very nice. That does sound very nice. But I was just kind of thinking it sounds very like discount warehouse to me these days instead of this like very thoughtful curation. It sounds like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as special. Like it feels more like this is the subscription box of like Marshalls or Ross where you get good deals and like good brands and hey, I am all about good deals and good brands, but I don't know. It just kind of has that like discount vibe somehow. But the benefit of FabFitFun being so big is that is why they have the buying power to get us these brands and these items at such discounted rates because this box is still only $59.99 per quarter, which is pretty awesome. And if you are an annual subscriber, then it brings it down to um, a little bit less. You save about $5, I think, per box. So it winds up being... $219.99. I will leave a link for you, although I feel like if you have ever had this on the radar, you've probably already been a subscriber. But for new subscribers, I will leave a link where you can save $10 on your box. Um, this is the box that is available. I've already been watching all of my YouTube friends unbox their boxes. Uh, this for me was not a super strong season because if I didn't mention already, uh, if you are an annual subscriber, you can customize your whole box in all six categories. If you are a season subscriber I believe you can customize in four of the categories um, last season was really good there were a lot of spoilers where I was like I'm actually gonna take advantage of the additional choice option where you could get additional choices from anywhere from like eight dollars depending on the category up to sixteen dollars and I was like last time I, I did a lot of extra shopping and even their refills which are also like little mini subscriptions that you can basically add to your box I had um, a couple of those which they're really nice I do appreciate that it's really easy to pause those or get rid of those I don't usually do a lot of add-ons so there's refills which are like little mini subscriptions that then come with the items in your box and then there's the add-ons I don't usually get those because I just get so many other boxes, but I honestly had a hard time picking in several of the categories this time around. Usually there's like one or two categories where I'm like, hmm, I guess I'll get this and maybe I'll give it away. But you know, I didn't show you guys though. One thing about this like kind of vibe these days, spring 2024, I should just have this as my thumbnail, um, is that they just kind of throw everything in the box, right? Depending on what you got, they find the right size box and they throw everything in. Sometimes there's some brown paper. Sometimes there's some like promo cards from different companies that want you to, HelloFresh is always in there, for example. There's usually a QR code because they don't do the magazine anymore. So just like some cost saving changes that have happened over the years in terms of the box, the magazine that we used to get, like these are all understandable changes, but I don't know, I feel like it doesn't feel as curated anymore and I kind of miss that experience. So let's see, it says spring is here and it's time to unbox your own personal version of a life well lived. What does that look like for you? A weekend spent pampering yourself at home with your 12 step skincare routine, an afternoon pickleball tournament with friends, a bit of spring cleaning to reset. No matter how you celebrate the season, one thing is for sure, this curation is 100% you. So um, this is fun. Oh, you can win a Celine vertical cabas tote. All right. Not my style, but I'd still enter to win it. I mean, <laughs> that's how contests sort of go. Um, so I'll tell you guys about what I chose at this time around, but 
for me, it was a it was a difficult season. Let me know in the comments below if this was a difficult season for you as well. Honestly, I think uh, because there's been a couple of price increases over the last like two years where I just kind of got tricked into being grandfathered in at my current pricing. So I went ahead and like paid for like two years in advance probably. I think I have maybe two more seasons before they'll probably do another price increase. <laughs> I'll probably keep it here on the channel just because, again, it is how a lot of people find my channel because people are looking at FabFitFun unboxings, but I don't know if if this was one of the, if I was not a reviewer, if this is one of the boxes that I would hold on to. In fact, it's one of the reasons that I didn't unbox this box on my channel for a long time because I didn't know if you would want to see what I got. But um, the value is amazing. I, out of all the boxes that I open, I think the value is amazing and the fact that you can fully customize the box is great. It's just, I kind of miss some of the, the old stuff. I, I'm, an, I'm an OG and I kind of miss some of the old, old stuff. All right, so in category one, where additional choices were $16, this is usually kind of one of the like bigger uh, item, like hero item categories and that just wasn't the case this time around. So there was the uh, Living Proof Triple Bond Complex, the Kate Spade New York Picnic Blanket. Those were like additional ones that weren't in the spoilers that I watched that just happened to be there when I did go into customize. There was the Glossier Number no. 1 Eye Pencil in Ink and G Suite in Curve. There was the Meli Bianco Alexandra Top Handle Bag in Cream, which I was tempted by until everyone said that it looked like a nog hide dog bone. Um, the OC or... Osea Malibu Ocean Cleanser, the Sweet Laurel Floral Dessert Plates. I like houseware stuff like that, but that just wasn't like my style and I don't really need dessert plates. The Swell Salad Bowl Kit and the Ola Henderson Hydroberia Nourishing Face Oil. And then the Yield Millennium Glasses. I did like those, but I've gotten a lot of cool glasses in my other boxes this season. And the Show Me Your Moo Moo Pickleball Set, which I did like that they had the pickleball set as a, you know, nod to the fit in Fab Fit Fun, but I'm not a pickleball player and I feel like most pickleball players already have their sets. So for me, it was like, eh. So I would have been tempted by the Swell Salad Bowl Kit because I thought it was a great idea. My husband takes salads to his work all the time. The main issue for me was there was only one color and it was pink. I'm like, really? Like, I know it's a women's box, but can we just get like a blue or, you know, like two options, two colorways? Like that, that would have, I probably would have gotten the Salad Bowl set if, um, if that had been the case, but they didn't. So I wound up with the Osea Malibu Ocean Cleanser. Um, I get cleansers in all kinds of boxes. It's not like I necessarily needed one. This had a $48 value, which was one of the highest valued items in there, except for the face oil, I think. Um, oh, actually the Show Me Your Moo Moo Pickle Ball Set and Millennium Glasses actually had a $60 value. But I went ahead and got this just because I like, um, I like these products. I like Ocean Scents and I also like pump bottles for cleansers just because it's nice to have out on your counter and remind myself to not be so lazy at the end of the day to do it. So it says, Legend says, if you listen hard enough, you'll hear ocean waves. Okay, maybe that's just in our head. But isn't what isn't an old wives tale is how well this cleanser works. The seaweed infused gel cleanser removes surface impurities and excess oils while gently exfoliating and unclogging your pores, revealing bright, radiant skin and it smells really good. It smells really fresh and kind of fruity. So I figured, okay, I'll get that for this category. I wanted the salad bowl, but like it was pink and pink is just not my favorite color. I, I, I guess it is some people's favorite color, but not me. They, should, they just could have given us another option. So customization two, which is where we actually saw the highest valued items. There was the Swell Peony bottle, which matched the salad bowl. I just don't need any more water bottles. There was the Dibs Beauty Desert Island Duo in shade two or shade 5.5. Uh, it didn't necessarily need any makeup. The lack of color, the holiday bucket hat with a $129 value, that just kind of made me roll my eyes. There was the Beyond Yoga Convertible Gym Bag in Bircher Black, that was the nod to fitness in this one. Um, at least they gave us two options for colors. There was the Tula Skin Care 24-7 Moisture Intense Ultra Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I always like a day and night cream, so that was tempting at a $58 value. Uh, the PJ Salvage Bath Wrap in Standard and Plus Size is $42 value. I just know better than to do apparel items these days from FabFitFun because they're always 
they, they just don't work for me. Um, maybe one of these days they will, but this was a category where there were not a lot of great options, but like the value range was from $36 all the way up to $129 for a bucket hat, which I was like, no. At least this was a category where I knew what I wanted. I wanted the Beyond Yoga convertible gym bag. Um, I actually liked the Birch uh, a lot, but I figured I know me and I like a classic black, so I went with the black. It's an $80 value. It says whether you're heading to the gym or just want to look like you are, this is the bag to carry around with you. It easily stores all your essentials with a spacious interior and multiple compartments with versatile straps that easily transform it from a backpack to a tote. So here's the like backpack straps, of course. The straps turn from a backpack to tote for maximum versatility. The drawstring and snap closure keep everything safe inside while you're on the go. And for the gym girlies who are actually headed to the gym, there's a separate zipper compartment on the bottom to keep gym shoes or clothes so this is the top part so you can use that little snap it's a really small snap honestly and it's a legit snap instead of like a magnetic one and but then you can do this drawstring closure which I thought was cute here is that shoe bag at the bottom um, I actually really like beyond yoga clothes also I use them as a yoga instructor and I've been using like an old like shopping bag from lululemon for years now so I figured that I needed a little bit of an update for when I do go to work at the yoga studio and I thought this would look really cool um, because you know I'll bring other things like change of clothes for example sometimes I might be going out to meet friends afterwards there's just one little zipper pocket on the inside so you have to have kind of your own organizational stuff like if you have toiletries or something it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be so this is how those straps those backpack straps can come kind of through and you can use it as a shoulder bag instead but um, I thought it was pretty cute and it does have some side pockets for your water bottles or things that you need to easily access um, from the outside like I would probably honestly put my phone or my sunglasses in there but I thought it was pretty cute I'm kind of I think it's kind of funny that it doesn't have like a top flap of some sort but it seems like pretty good quality which is what I would ex expect from beyond yoga I'm kind of wishing that I had been brave enough to get the birch but since it's like a wipe clean situation I figured the black would be safer and honestly I live in black yoga pants so it seemed like the right choice I'm happy with that one for customization by the way the additional choices in customization 2 were $15 in customization 1 they were 16 in customization 3 we keep going down additional choices were $13 there was the Beekman 1802 dream booster Bacchiol Bacuchiol better aging serum and glow recipe plump pump Plum Pump Hyaluronic Acid Serums. Those were like last minute ads that I saw during customization. But before that, I kind of come prepared with my list. There was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Bundle. That was tempting because I do like need to do maintenance on my brows. The Aveda Nutriplenish Leave-In Conditioner. I like leave-in conditioners. Pat McGrath Labs Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I don't use eyeliner very often. Aloe Magnesium Reset Spray, which is good for your sleep and relaxation. The Adina Eden Pave Safety Pin Paperclip Bracelet. I usually don't go for the jewelry, honestly, from FabFitFun either, unless it's like the only thing in a category that I like. The First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads and the Short Stories, which is a FabFitFun brand large basket, which was cute, but I don't need any more organizational baskets. So I actually went with the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads because there's 60 of them in there. Has a $38 value, honestly, one of the lowest values in this category. Category. It says exfoliate the day away with these gently sustainable and compostable face pads perfect for anyone with sensitive skin regular use reveals a glowing complexion helping to improve the look of pores smooth skin texture and prep your face for flawless makeup application so I thought these were good um, it's just like a cleanser even though I already got a cleanser <laughs> in this box so I was like I guess I'll get another one um, but I like the idea of them being even easier to use uh, and it does have like I said glycolic and lactic lactic acids in it I didn't go for a super high value box this time around you could definitely do that but that's just not how I choose my items if I have a chance um, I will go ahead and leave the total value of my box in the description box below where you'll also find that link but um one of these days maybe I should just go for broke and be like I'm gonna get like the most expensive items uh in every single category and see it see how that works out all right so for customization for the additional choices were ten dollars there were the stone candles hanging scented oval diffuser that was I think a throwback that was added during customization the St. Jane luxury sun ritual pore smoothing SPF 30 the Grace and Stella Jade comb definitely didn't need that that was like 
felt like a throwback to. Robe Curls Original Heatless Curling Headband. I have one of those from Timu. <laughs> the Malin and Getz Strawberry Perfume Oil. I like Malin and Getz, but I didn't need a perfume oil. Form by Sammy Clark Daily Check-In Journal and six months free membership. That was for the fitness thing. $151 menu <laughs> membership value. That was a lot. Earth Harbor Aura Reparative Eye Cream. Normally I'll go for Earth Harbor, but like I just didn't need any more eye creams. And the African Botanics Muscle Pain Relief Recovery Gel. That I was tempted by, especially because it's got a $65 value. But in the end, I went for the... I have so many pump bottles here, you guys. I'm like so many of them. I went for the St. Jane Luxury Sun ritual pore smoothing SPF 30 and I'm trying to find it but I don't actually see it I pulled everything out of my box and I'm not actually seeing that you guys I wonder if it made it into my box oh you know why because it is so small look how tiny this is so this is the no this is Dr. Jart oh goodness I don't know if I got my St. Jane luxury skin ritual pore smoothing SPF you know what I don't think I did you know what? Oh, oh, there's another small box in here. <laughs> Good thing I have you guys to have help me look. So I'm always for a moisturizer that has SPF in it. I think it's just really important to have that every day. This has a $38 value. Sunscreen is a must, so why not get a multi-purpose must-have that'll beautifully blur the look of pores while leaving zero white cast behind? It's a really pretty little tube. It's a primer and a pore minimizer in one while hydrating and protecting the skin. Nutrient-rich flowers that thrive in sunny climates bring their natural SPF boosting properties from and center. At for, front and center? Front and center, I think is what they meant. We're wondering if there's anything this customization for choice can't do. $38 value. It is very small. 1.7 fluid ounces because look how flat that little tube is. But it is very pretty and perfect for travel. Uh, so I'm into it. I like having something that's multi-purpose, that's a primer and a pore minimizer. I will take that. All right, we've got two more customizations to go. Um, but maybe that'll be a, like a new favorite and I'll wind up getting that again. Dr. Jart, we know we have that. So that is what I chose for customization five where additional choices were $8. There was an addition of an activity book bundle and the Cora Santorini Grape Renewing Body Cleanser, which I know a lot of people like that brand. There was the PJ Salvage Spa Headband and Wristband Set, the Cora Pure Greek Olive Shower Gel, in Olive Blossom, the Nude Sticks Nude Sticks Hydra Peptide Lip Butter in Clear Gloss, the Love Wellness pH Balancing Cleanser, the AG Hair Cloud Air Light Volumizing Mousse, and this baby, which had a $20 value. Again, pretty low value. Uh, this is an, another way we're ensuring your skin is looking fresh post-winter. We're all about hydration, hydration, hydration as we emerge from the colder months and we'll be staying on track with this moisturizing cream. Um, from Dr. Jart, five ceramides combined with panthenol work their magic to strengthen the skin barrier while boosting skin's elasticity. It is only 15 milliliters, so it is itty bitty, but you know, that's why it's only a $20 value, but I figured I'll try it. Um, this is not a huge, super high value category anyway, but so I got a lot of cleansers and a lot of moisturizers. And then just to switch it up for um, customization number six, where additional choices were also $12, so it kind of bumped back up. They had added, when I did customization, a Grand Cosmetics Grand Lash three month supply, the Living Proof PhD dry shampoo, things that I use but just didn't need more of, Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Volumizer Mascara, Eight other reasons, Charlotte Hoop Set, cute little earrings, didn't need those. The new company, Super Thick Shampoo and Conditioner Duo, Grown Alchemist Purifying Body Exfoliant, Honest Beauty Clean Curves Cleansing Oil, didn't need any more cleansing oils, and Honest Beauty Glow and Body Cream. So just because I already had a lot of stuff for cleansing my face and moisturizing my face, I decided to go for the new company hair um, shampoo. So shampoo and conditioner, I liked the fact that they did the shampoo and conditioner as a duo and they didn't make you purchase so separately or just one knowing that you would then probably want to buy the other one. So this was a $46 value. The shampoo and conditioner duo is a powerhouse combo that rebalances the scalp microbiome, reduces breakage and promotes hair growth and density. The duo features ingredients like apple cider vinegar to balance, uh, lowers the pH levels while adding shine, red algae to hydrate, vitamin B5 to strengthen and oat oil extract to moisturize for healthier, happier locks. Plus the shampoo has a low pH, which helps prevent 
prevent potential damage to your hair's cuticle and scalp. Organic, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, 100% vegan, SLS-free, and silicone-free. And so they are each uh, 250 milliliters. So that'll last me for a while. Although I usually use way more conditioner than I do uh, my shampoo. So just not like a very exciting box for me just because of what I purchased, but in terms of just usefulness, like the most exciting item was definitely this bag and I am happy with it. I did do one refill because I love shower steamers and I like these ones, the Lujo bars. So I'll be doing this. I think it's like like less than $20 for this in each box. But I will say because they just toss everything into the box, that's what I was trying to say earlier, they're kind of crumbled in there already, which I'm a little bit annoyed by, right? Because like just now my, my shower steamers are already kind of dust. But basically I got the Osea Malibu Ocean Cleanser, the Beyond Yoga Convertible Gym Bag, the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, the St. Jane Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoothing SPF 30, pretty bottle. The Dr. Jart Ceramidin, Ceramidin Skin Barrier Moisturizing Cream and the new company Super Thick Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. So lots of just beauty and bath and body items. I don't know. It just, it didn't wow me. I'm usually like, I'm always excited about the houseware stuff and just none of it really like gelled with me. Spring is usually like kind of a weaker season for me in terms of what I need and what I use. So here's hoping for summer. You guys let me know in the comments below. What did you get in your FabFitFun box? And if you saw some stuff you like, go in and get on, get in on it. It is a great value. No, even if you choose all the lowest valued items in every category, you're going to get a good value on your box. I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.